Unit 11, Lesson 2, Fundamental Identities, number 2. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to FOIL this, multiplying the fronts, 9. Notice how the inside and the outside are going to be additive inverses. I'll go ahead and show you. So the outside is a positive 9 sine of x. The inside is a negative 9 sine of x. And the last, negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9, but I have two sines, sine squared. These are additive inverses. They're going to cancel out and I have 9 minus 9 sine squared. So out of these two terms separated by a subtraction sign, notice they both contain a 9. So let's factor out the 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, and we have a sine squared. Okay, 1 minus sine squared. 1 minus sine squared. Let's pull out our list of trig identities, and I could rewrite this, the most common trig identity as 1 minus sine squared, and it would be equivalent to cosine squared. If I take a positive sine squared and move it to the opposite side, we subtract it. So 1 minus sine squared equals cosine squared. This is equivalent to cosine squared.